if you would argue what I'm most innately skilled at, it's at painting. Mm. Um, and so as a young kid, I got uh, a lot of attention for being able to draw anything from a very early age um, because that's a skill that a lot of people can't connect to. And it, oftentimes it's one of those weird skills, kind of like singing, um, where if, if you can do it from a young age, it's, it's not a learned behavior. There's something mm. innate about it. This idea of talent, right, um, that we, we really idolize in our society for artists. And so um, I grew up thinking that I was supposed to be a painter because that was the thing that everybody liked the most about me. And once I got into high school, I realized, oh, I need some extra cash if I want to do the things that I want to do. How can I do this? Um, I started entering festivals so like crafts and arts arts craft festivals i um set up booths in the summertime on my off time and then that led to muraling around town so i basically painted all of the local elementary school murals for my school district and by the time i got done i was really glad that i that i really applied myself because i realized that i didn't want to do it mm. <laughs> um it's kind of like I gave myself my own internship. I really, really tried and I did the thing and I found out this isn't sustainable for me. This isn't um, creative in the way that I, my spirit needs to be creative. This is a skill and I'm lucky that it's a really good skill that I have. That's something that I can fall back on if I need to or it informs my personal expression, but it's not something that I want to develop beyond what I've already put the time into developing on my what own. What was it missing? Um, human connection. Painting is really, really uh, lonely. Uh, and I'm an extrovert. And so spending hours painting a wall by myself and listening to playlists was not gonna work for me. And I think understanding that was also something that was key for me in working with other creatives is saying, just because you have a skill doesn't mean that that has to be the way you make money or mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that that's the thing you have to be because everybody else wants you to be that thing. So when I decided to go into theater, I had a lot of people who were like, but you should go to fine arts school. You should be a painter. You're so incredible. You're amazing. Um, and I really had to kind of work hard to defend my choices. Um, and also it was something that honestly has a little bit more social clout. There's this idea of the fine arts, of painting, of history, um, of, you know, being remembered for your work, of uh, being, uh, having collectors who, you know, want to own your work for, in their, in their families in a way that theater just does not carry that same kind of excitement for a lot yeah. of people. Um, and so it was a, that, I think that was the first step in starting to own my creative process over the identity that people were projecting onto me.